Hello, my name is Dr. Mina McCary, and I'm a vascular and interventional radiologist at The Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. I'll be going over your procedure and interventional radiology today. Uh, you'll be having a port placement. A port is actually a very useful device that can be used for a variety of medical purposes, including administering medications and chemotherapy, uh, drawing blood, and uh, even for conducting medical tests such as CAT scans and MRIs. These devices often have a huge impact in ensuring reliable IV access and avoiding uh, repeated IV sticks, especially for patients with poor veins. The device itself consists of a chamber where the medicine is injected or the blood is withdrawn. That chamber is then connected to a small catheter or a tube that goes into your vein where the treatment goes. The main benefit of this procedure is to provide you with uh, vascular access for medications and or other needs as we previously discussed. The risks of the procedure include pain, infection, bleeding. We minimize these risks through uh, the use of anesthetics, sterile techniques, and minimally invasive small incisions. It's not uncommon though for patients with sensitive skin to have soreness or bruising for a few days afterwards. When you're transferred to the radiology procedure room, your loved ones will return to the waiting area and will have access to complimentary Wi-Fi and snacks. A member of our team will be available for questions and updates on your progress. In the procedure room, you will have your blood pressure, your pulse, your other vitals checked. For safety purposes, you may be asked many of the same questions you've been asked before, specifically verifying your procedure and its location, your allergies and your medications. Port placement is generally performed under moderate or twilight sedation, where you're sleepy uh, or relaxed, but may be able to respond to uh, the physician and breathe on your own. Your physician will discuss your personal sedation needs with you to ensure you are comfortable during the procedure. Additionally, a local anesthetic or numbing medication is administered in the skin to ensure the area is numb during the procedure. Small incisions are then made in the upper chest uh, neck area and ultrasound and x-rays are used for guidance to make sure that the port is appropriately positioned. While the port is completely under the skin in your upper chest, you may see or feel a little bit of a bump and that will help your healthcare provider locate and access it since they cannot see it. The site where the port will be placed will depend on your past medical and surgical history, the condition of your veins, and your personal preference. Depending on your medical needs, the port itself may be a single or a double uh, port with one or two chambers, and your healthcare team will help you with that decision. At the end of the procedure, we test the port to make sure it's working appropriately and can be used without issues. Uh, we then apply uh, sterile dressings to the site. The port can be used immediately after the procedure uh, if you need it. Once your doctor feels you're in good condition to go home, your care team will provide you with verbal and written instructions on what to expect next. The incision site of your port is commonly closed with dissolvable stitches that are buried under the skin, so you don't need to come back for the removal. After the procedure, we recommend not showering for 24 hours. When you do shower after that, uh, please keep a clean, dry dressing on the site for the first week. We also recommend uh, no strenuous upper body activity or heavy lifting for the first week. Once uh, your skin incision heals, there are no restrictions. If you do have any questions or concerns during your healing process, please call 614-293-2773 to speak to a member of our team. Our goal is to make sure you're comfortable during the procedure and have a great experience today. So please do not hesitate to ask your physician or any member of your healthcare team if you have any questions or if there's anything we can do to ensure you're comfortable during a visit. Thank you for choosing Ohio State for your interventional radiology care needs.